Hello and welcome to Sir Atkinson's Film Club. This week we're going to be checking out Baz Luhrmann's Elvis trailer. It dropped this week. I've been looking forward to this because a lot of people have been looking to do the Elvis uh, movie for a while. Problem being, it's hard to cast Elvis, you know. So let's see how it goes. I've never seen this before, so I'm quite looking forward to having a look and you'll see my reaction as it happens. Um, so here we go. Elvis soundtrack. Shocking. You know what, before I start there, Austin Butler who plays Elvis, just looking at the hair and the look, I can't believe Travolta didn't play this in his youth. Certainly could even probably still play an old Elvis. Anyway. Sounded like Tom Hanks doing a creepy voice. Playing the Colonel. It's going to be hard not to make a visually great Elvis movie. Uh, I went out to Memphis a few years ago and Graceland's not somewhere I always wanted to go. You know, it wasn't on my bucket list, but if you're in Memphis, uh, it'd be a bit silly not to. And I was happily surprised how good and how much fun I had. If you're there, check it out. But obviously the guy's a legend, you know about all the movies, but he, from childhood, absolutely killed it, basically in movies, film, God knows how much money he must have made or how much he made the Colonel or wherever it went. I'm sure this movie will tell us. I have to say, Tom Hanks has absolutely nailed the Colonel in look. So hair and makeup take a bow it's going to be grand it's a Baz Luhrmann movie it's going to be grandiose alright Elvis is one of these stars as well you get the Beatles did it and you know to a lesser extent you have pop groups doing it now to young girls what is it what is that raw sexual emotion that makes young women pass out in crowds? It doesn't happen the same way around with straight men. I've never ever been, well, I've never been to any pop concerts where me and the guys have been to check out our heartthrob female, but I just can't imagine a situation of me at any age passing out. Loving the Elvis voice. A little bit excited about this, pulling into Graceland now, bring back some memories for myself. If only I was a few years younger and a few pounds lighter, could have had this role in the bag. Will be interesting, there's just a little bit of a racial element there. Be interesting to see if they touch upon that. Because obviously there's always been a little bit of pushback between celebrating Elvis too much from certainly the Amer African American crowd because he effectively stole their music and dance moves. Stole, uh, he performed their music and dance moves uh, without really ever giving them credit or critics giving him credit for it at the time, which is not really his fault. but. Uh, I wonder if the movie goes there. We'll see. Sounds like. Spot too soon. It seems like it's very much going to touch that.
I don't actually know if he's doing the singing in this movie, but if he is, he's nailing it. Can't be. It's all shot in Australia, this. Surprisingly. I, I, the reason I know is because I don't know anyone who worked on it. Normally I'd know someone. I know only a few people. Trailer so far, it's not giving too much away than what we don't know. I mean, it's going to be difficult to prop up an angle that we don't know about Elvis on a movie like that. You know, it's sort of if you do a Mike Tyson movie, we all know the story, right? He's just these epic characters in, in history that he can't really shock us with. Face of Tom Hanks on this looks great, but I don't know if it was just that shot there. It looks slightly perturbing, a little less Colonel, more Colonel Mustard, Cluedo. Hmm. Obviously, we want to watch it out in June. Baz Luhrmann. Let's see it. What do you think? Let me know. Like and subscribe, guys.